Okay, uh, for our topic for today, for CSS, we have wireless network connection. Okay, so let me read this first. Uh, what is a wireless network? Ano nga ba daw yung ano, uh, tinatag na wireless network? Okay, uh, I have here, ito po, uh, a wireless network. Okay, uh, is an interconnected devices connected by radio waves instead of wires or cables. So, sabi daw dito, uh, yung wireless network daw, okay, uh, interconnected devices. Ano? Pag sinabi natin devices, uh, pwede siyang computer, uh, pag computer, desktop, laptop, uh, tablet, uh, notebook, netbook, pwede po yun. Saka yung ating smartphones, yan, pwede po yan. Smart TV, pwede rin po yan. Pero, ang connection niya po, okay, ang connection niya po ay hindi po sa Ethernet cable. Ito, no, Ethernet cable. Yung Ethernet cable, yung ano po, no, uh, RJ45, pwede kasamang RJ45, at saka yung Uh, cat 5 o kaya cat 6 instead na internet cable ang connection po ng mga na, nasabi kong devices ay yung wireless na radio waves to po kumbaga yung kanyang connection is through air okay through radio waves instead of wires or cable so yun po yung wireless uh, network kumbaga interconnected devices lang po ito gamit po ang radio waves okay o konektado sa pamamagitan ng radio waves through air kumbaga now we have two modes okay ng wireless network okay so ad hoc saka infrastructure so ano po ba yung ad hoc okay ad hoc mode yan uh, basahin ko po muna ano po in an ad hoc network an wireless network adapter connects directly to another wireless network adapter. So, sabi daw sa ad hoc mode, uh, isang uh, wireless na device, konektado siya sa isa pa pong wireless device o network device. Okay? Pwede computer to computer, computer to cellphone, basta po pares po silang connected through wireless okay wireless mode or wireless network adapter ad hoc networks are generally used to temporarily share files ito yung trabaho ng ad hoc uh, network to share files temporarily presentation sharing din ng presentation or an internet connection among multiple computers and devices so pinaka primary goal or task ng ad hoc connection is to share files saka internet connection kumbaga pasok dito yung ating tinatawag na hotspot okay sa ad hoc kasi uh, nagsishare po siya ng internet connection yan then let us go to the second mode infrastructure ano po ba yung infrastructure infrastructure uh, mode in this mode wireless network adapters connect only to special radio bridges. So, nakako-connect daw po ang isang computer device sa network, okay, using wireless network through another, ito, through another special bridge, okay. Pwede po itong router, okay, or wireless access point that connect directly to the wired network. Example ko nga po rito yung router. Yan. Pwede rin pong repeater. Yan. This is the commonly used mode in home or business environments. So, kung meron po kayong PLDT uh, DSL o D, uh, PLDT Fiber, kaya Globe Fiber, so, definitely, nakakita na po kayo ng ganitong infrastructure, ano po, yung router nga po. Na meron po siyang kadalasan, ano po siya, no? Router na po siya, uh, switch pa po at the same time, access point, may, may antena po siya, no? So, yung antenna na yun, yung po yung access point na requirement para magkaroon ng 
wireless network. Okay? Yan. So, yun po yung spark factor, or yung infrastructure mode connected sa mga different devices through a router. Yan. Most uh, especially router. Okay, ha? Uh, repeater, pwede rin po. Okay, ha? Kahit anong access point. Pwede rin po access point. Now, let's go. Ah, uh, ito. Basahin ko muna, no? Advantages of Yeah, advantages of wireless network. Ano-ano po ba yung advantages sa wireless network? Okay, so nakalagay po rito. Extends or replaces wired infrastructure, wire-free. Increases productivity for mobile employees. Provides easy access to the internet in public places. Ganun din po, may disadvantages siya. Possible interference, potential security risk, and additional management. Okay, dito muna po tayo sa uh, advantages. So, extends or replaces wired infrastructure or wire-free. So, ano ba uh, ibig sabihin yan? So, extends or replaces a wired infrastructure in situations where it is costly, inconvenient, or impossible to lay cables. So, may mga lugar kasi na parang mahirap lagyan ng kable, ano? lagyan mo ng cable, o kaya magastos kung lalagyan pa ng mga RJ45, o kaya hindi maganda. So, ang ginagawa po na network connection is yung wireless. The wiring free aspect of wireless LAN networking is also very attractive to homeowners who want to connect the various computers in their home without having to drill holes and pull network cables through walls and ceiling. Kasi, traditional po na network connectivity po natin ay yung tinatawag na LAN o local area network. So, saan kakailanganin po ng ethernet cable? So, eh, yung mga bahay, lalo na sa mga subdivisions, gusto nila uh, wireless. Kaya walang, ano, no, cableless. Yan. So, yan. Kaya na buo po yung uh, WLAN o wireless LAN. Okay? So, isa pa po example nito ay yung mga businesses. Yan. Uh, mas gusto nila yung wireless nga, cableless. Like yung mga coffee shops, yung mga malls. Ayan. Paano kasi sa mall, pagka nagkalat yung mga kable, parang hindi pa tapos yung, ano, no? yung mall mismo kung maraming kable. Kaya uh, madaling masira kung nasa baba. So, mas, mas maganda, meron po silang wireless uh, internet connection. So, yun yung unang advantage po ng ano po, no? wireless uh, network. Next po, we have increases productivity for mobile employees. So, paano po ito? A wireless network enables users to work in various locations without having to disconnect and reconnect network cables. Kasi, di ba, pagka uh, LAN, eh, may limitasyon yung haba. Eh, paano kung ano? Ah, uh, medyo malayo-layo ng konti. Let us say 10 meters. Eh, yung wireless network, pwede po siyang lumampas ng 10 meters, 50 meters, 60 meters. Pwede. So, para, ano po, flexible po, ayan, para maging flexible, yung, uh, yung task, work task ng mga employees, mas maganda po ay wireless connection na po. Ayan. Para pwede po sila sa taas ng building, second floor, eh, yung connection na nasa first floor. Or, kung pwede, third floor. Okay? Using yung repeater. Wireless repeater. Yan. Pwede po sila makakonect. Kahit nasa baba pa, yung net, uh, network connection. Okay? Unlike nung ano palan, uh, mahaba eh. No? Mahaba. So, uh, limited. Okay? Pagka magdaduduktong ka naman, very costly. So, what's better pa rin? Si wireless connection. Okay? Next, we have provide easy access to the internet in public places. So, you can create a public network that enables your guests to have internet connection without causing possible security issues on your corporate network. So, that enables your guests internet connection. Again, example ko nga rito yung mga coffee shops, di ba? 
pag uh, magkakape ka like sa Starbucks, eh, may libreng Wi-Fi doon, yung wireless connection. So, yung mga ano, uh, busy person, uh, they always bring their smartphones while taking their coffee. Ganun din yung mga pe people na to or person na to uh, when they are going into the mall, okay, they bring their smartphones. At pag may smartphone, definitely, mangangilangan ng internet connection niya. So, better yung mall, eh, mayroong Wi-Fi. Ayan. May Wi-Fi connection or wireless connection. Okay? So, yun, public places. Sa 7-Eleven, yan, minsan, pagka bumili ka ng items sa kanila, may ano ka na, no? Kunyari, suki ka na ng 7-Eleven, may ano ka na, uh, free Wi-Fi connection ka sa kanila. Okay? So, yun, mga sa business establishment, ano? Ayan, public places. Parang ano, no? Ah... Uh, Naalala ko, no, sa ang uno, may free wifi na tinatawag. So, pagpunta mo sa plaza, alala mo smartphone mo o kaya laptop mo, pwede ka na makonect. Kasi may free wifi doon. Okay? So, very convenient, ano, uh, lalo na po sa mga public places, yung wireless network. No? Hindi na pwede, hindi na kailangan mag-connect pa ng kable. Okay? Uh, which is, alam naman natin, mga cable siya may limitation. Okay? Next, let us go to disadvantages. Number one, possible interference. So, yung ano, no, uh, unlike wired networks, wireless networks are prone to interference. Ayun, no, kumbaga may nagbablock. Whether it is signal interference or physical obstruction. So, minsan, interference, uh, in, uh, signal, lalo na kung may bagyo, okay, malakas yung hangin, ayan. kaya, Nasa malayo kang lugar, yun. So, posible may na yung signal mo. So, ibig sabihin, pag may na signal mo, hindi ka makakonek sa network. At sa pa, yung physical obstruction, like yung buildings, like yung mga puno, ayan. Sa mga walls. So, physical obstruction yun. Eh, di ba, no? Yung connection mo, uh, nagka-travel through air, through ra ra radio waves or signal. So, pagka naharangan yun, hindi na makapunta sa ating device. So, wala tayong connection. So, yun yung isang uh, number one disadvantage ng wireless network. Next, uh, we have potential security risk. So, potential security risk, ayan, uh, because the nature of wireless networking, it poses security risk that must be considered. So, Kung madaling masagap yung Wi-Fi o wireless network natin. Uh, sorry, uh, if I always use Wi-Fi. Kasi yan yung pangkaraniwa na wireless connection natin. Ano po? Yung wireless fidelity natin. Okay. So, again. Uh, pagka public o tama, public. Yung Wi-Fi natin, kahit sino within range ng Wi-Fi, ay masasagap yung ating Wi-Fi. Lalo na kung walang password. So, madali nila ma-access yun. So, ibig sabihin, uh, security, uh, masyadong ano, no, risky. Okay? Dahil na kung marami na nakakonect sa'yo, babagal ang connection mo. Okay? May irita ka. Uh, you will feel discomfort. So, yun. Kailangan lagyan natin ng security. So, it was a security risk that must be considered. Kasi nga, pag marami gumagamit, uh, tendency is, bumagal ang connection mo. Bumagal ang speed ng iyong internet connection. Okay? Next, we have additional management. Okay? Dahil dito sa security risk, kailangan ng additional management uh, to maintain the wireless network infrastructure and security. Ayan po. You will need to allocate time and resource kasi kailangan mo nga ano, no, ma-block yung mga unwanted connections na yan. Dahil nga, ang ating wireless network ay open to public. Remember, to public. Kasi, ano siya, no? Advantage niya is to public. Kaso lang, pag maraming public na gumagamit ng Wi-Fi, spec mo, babagal yung, ano, yung connection ng isang individual. Mahahate. E, lalo ko marami. So, mas, uh, mahahate. Mas delete yung bandwidth. Okay? So, kailangan ng, ano, additional management to allocate time and resource. Uh, what is a uh, wireless uh, uh, here? Uh, 
Okay, sorry for that. Uh, wireless network to to uh, technologies. Okay. So, balik ko ayon. Yeah. The capabilities of the wireless network adapter. Ano. Ayan. Ito na. Sorry, nagkamali. So, Windows 7 support the following inst Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer or IE or IEEE or IEEE 802.11 standards. So, ito yung mga standards ng wireless connection. Okay, lalo na yun sa Wi-Fi. Ano? We have 802.11a, uh, 802.11b, 802.11g, at saka 802.11n. But the wireless components of Windows are dependent upon the... Okay, pero dependent... Although may mga standards, dependent pa rin yung uh, wireless component ng Windows sa unang-una. Yan. The capabilities of the wireless network adapter. Ito yun, the wireless network adapter. The installed wireless network adapter, yan, must support the wireless network or wireless security standards that you require. So, yung mga Wi-Fi devices natin, okay, like yung NIC, uh, lalo ni wireless NIC, yan, wireless NIC, para sa Wi-Fi, kailangan uh, mamit niya, no, yung uh, wireless security standard na nire-require. Kasi may mga ganun, eh. Okay? At pangalawa, bukod doon, the capabilities of the wireless network adapter driver. Yan, pati driver. Dapat compatible yung driver do sa device. Okay? To enable you to configure wireless network options, the driver for the wireless network adapter must support the reporting of all its, of its capabilities to Windows. Yan. So, in other words, dapat tama yung ating driver. Okay? Yan yung ano, no, uh, kinakailangan ano, para magamit natin yung wireless network technology. Uh, for example, sa Windows 7 operating system. Number one, the wireless network adapter yung device. Number two, the wireless network adapter driver. At saka yung driver para sa uh, wireless network adapter device. Okay? Next. Okay, so we have here, and sorry for that, a table regarding the standard. Then po, standard, we have 802.11a up to 802.11n. Uh, maximum bitrate, then may range of frequencies, and then usage. Let me read all of this. Under 802.11a, meron siyang maximum bitrate na 54 megabytes per second. Okay. Uh, range of frequency, uh, C-band, ISM, 5.725 to 5.875 gigahertz. Uh, not widely used. Hindi masyadong ginagamit. Bakit kaya? Mm, mamaya tingnan natin. Actually, ano siya, no? Medyo mahal, okay? 802.11b, 11 Mbps, S-band, ISM, 2.4 to 2.5 GHz. Widely used. So, ito, gamitin to. Yan. 802.11g, 54 Mbps, S-band, ISM, gaining popularity. So, ito nagiging ng popularity. Yan. At 802.11n, 600 Mbps, C-band and S-band ISM, gaining popularity, not yet finalized. So, ito sa mga standards sa to, ang very popular po is 802.11G at 802.11N, lalo na yung 11N, okay? Adoption. Because, bakit daw? May faster speed, eh, mas mabilis. Kita nyo naman, ano, 54 Mbps sa 600, ano, yung maximum niya. Kumpara sa dalawa, yan. Ito si band lang oh. Ito S band na. And then backward compatibility, ibig sabihin itong dalawa, uh, kung design siya for Windows 10, pwede siya sa Windows 7, pwede siya sa Windows XP. O kaya sa Android pababa. Okay? Kumpara sa 11B at 11A which is not backward compatibility. 
at saka inexpensive cost mura yung ano no yung 11G 11N kumpara sa 11A yan kaya popular itong dalawa and then additional information the i triple e 802.11n refer to ito yung link pwede nyo pong kopyahin pero pag click nyo po ito yung magbubungad sa inyo wikipedia yan marami pong information regarding sa 802.11n yan is paki ano lang ano scroll down okay next po ah uh, yan next we have wireless broadband so Provides high-speed wireless internet and data network access, comparable to wide broadband such as ADSL or cable modem. Used to have constant connectivity to internet and corporate network. So, ito yung ano no description regarding sa wireless broadband, whether it's ADSL or cable modem or fiber. Yan, na mga broadband yan. Ibig sabihin, mabibilis yung connection. Okay. At si Windows 7 supports uh, wireless broadband, ano, driver-based model for mobile broadband devices. Uh, use the same user interface regardless of the provider. So, pare-pare sa kanilang user interface, whether it yung broadband ay galing kay PLDT, whether yung broadband ay galing kay Globe, or kay Cheetah. Okay? Yung mga main ISP natin, ano po. Next, I have here a list. Okay? Security protocols for a wireless network. So, ito yung security standard, authentication methods, encryption methods, and then we have remarks. Okay. So, wireless devices create many opportunities and authorize users to access private networks. Okay. Medyo baba ako kasi hindi kita. Ayan. Ayan. So, wireless devices create many opportunities for unauthorized users to access private networks. And to protect your wireless network, you must configure authentication and encryption options. So, ano yung mga authentication na kailangan i-configure at yung encryption option na dapat isa lang alang. So, we have number one. Okay. Okay, number one. Authentication. Ano ba yung authentication niya? Computers must provide either valid account credentials, such as a username and password, or proof that they have been configured with an authentication key before being allowed to send data frames on the wireless network. So, bago ang makaka-access sa wireless network, or simply put sa Wi-Fi connection, kailangan may authentication. Kailangan may username kang i-input at saka password. Yan. Mahalaga yan. Pagka, ano, hindi valid yung username mo, hindi valid yung password mo, wala. Hindi ka makakasi sa network. Ano, kumbaga, you're not authenticated. Ano, hindi ka belong. <laughs> hindi ka allowed. Okay? Para magkaroon ng, ano, no, uh, wireless connection. And then, number two, aside from username and password or authentication, okay, we have Disturb encryption. The content of all wireless data frames is encrypted so that only the receiver can interpret its content. So, in other words, yung password, lalo na yung password, ano, hindi natin mababasa yung tinatype ng user. Ano po. Um, usually, nakita lang sa password ay yung uh, mga bilog. Okay? Kumbaga, kumbaga, puro period. Ano. So, it's because it is encrypted. Okay? Kumbaga, nakatago para sa viewers na nakakita doon sa, tina, uh, na, 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 sa paligid ng uh, user na nagtatype ng password. Ayan. So, encrypted po siya. For safety measures, kumbaga. <clears throat> so, aside from uh, authentication, username and password, and encryption, yung password ay nakamas. Ayan. So, gandang term, nakamas or nakatago. Okay. Ayan yung mga kailangan. Let's see. Check the table in the slide to compare the available wireless security protocols. You should always go for the higher security as possible. So, eto yung table natin ano. So, bidaw ang lagi daw rating gagamitin ay yung merong higher security. Yeah. 
So, ito, we have A22.11. Open system, a shared key. So, ibig sabihin, hindi maganda ang security nito, no? Meron siyang weak authentication and encryption. Ayan. And use is highly discouraged. Ayan. Kasi nga, mababa ka niyang security. Open system kasi. Ayan, open system. Okay? Uh, okay. Next, standard. We have 802.1x uh, uh, or 12, 13, whatever. So, EAP authentication methods. Strong EAP methods provide strong authentication. So, ito, strong authentication but I don't think uh, yung encryption niya is that strong. Okay, and then we have WPA enterprise personal. Okay, ito po. Strong authentication. Ayan, para strong authentication, pati encryption niya. So, pwede po ito. At so, WPA2, both enterprise personal. Uh, ganun din po. Strong authentication and strong encryption. Okay. WPA, used for uh, home networks or small offices. WPA2, ganun din po, used for home networks or small offices. So, let us go to the... Uh, <clears throat> Ayan. So, WPA and WPA2 is still available in two modes, which is enterprise and personal. Ano po? Number one, personal. Ano ba yung personal? A free shared key is used uh, for authentication. And you provide the same key to each user. Ayan. It is designed for small office, home office, infrastructure mode, networks. In other words, Yung authentication saka yung password o yung username saka password, isa lang. Okay? Parang dito sa bahay, ano? Isa lang aming username saka password. So, personal siya. Okay? Actually, WPA2 yung gamit ko rito sa Wi-Fi, ano? Personal. Isa lang yung, ano, password saka username. Next, uh, aside from personal, Enterprise. An 802.1x or 11, 12, 13. Authentication server distributes individual keys to users that have a wireless designation. It is designed for medium and large infrastructure mode networks. So, dito naman, per, uh, uh, per wireless designation, kunyari per department or even per individual, eh may kanya-kanyang user name saka password for wireless connection. So, this is used for uh, large companies or uh, corporate companies. Ano? Yan, like in San Miguel uh, Corporation, like Eugenie Lab, yan yung mga malalaking kompanya. Uh, they use enterprise uh, wireless connection. Okay, pero yung sa bahay lang, yung mga computer shop, madalas po dyan ay personal. Yan, personal wireless network. Okay. Then we have 802.11 open system. This one. No authentication and no encryption. That is not recommended unless there are other devices that provides authentication. So this is not recommended kasi nga mababa ka security. Next, we have 802.11 web. Low key badge bed. Okay. Wala password. A weakness in encryption. Pero may username. Okay? Nga lang, ano no, wala siyang password. This is still widely used although not recommended. So, saan ito ginagamit? Yung walang password. Ginagamit po to usually yan, sa mga coffee shops, uh, airport, yan. Basta public access. Yan. Then, uh, just refer to this link para sa 802.11 web. Okay? Next, Okay, WPA, WPA2, personal and uh, enterprise mode. Uh, personal uh, uses PSK. Okay, this one. Ayan, PSK, personal, PSK. And then, uh, enterprise uses with use based on uh, authentication using 802.1x. WPA Enterprise or WPA2 Enterprise is the recommended security 
of security protocols for large organizations. Whereas WPA personal or WPA2 personal may be the choice for home or small offices. So you po ano po. Uh, recommended talaga ay yung personal whether WPA or WPA2 personal sa bahay o kaya sa small businesses or small offices. Pero yung ano, WPA Enterprise, WPA2 Enterprise, that is recommended for large uh, companies or corporations or enterprise like Microsoft. So they use that. Okay, yung enterprise po na WPA or WPA2. <coughs> In addition to implement, uh, implementing authentication and encryption, uh, you can also use the following methods to mitigate risk to your wireless network. So, para maano, no, mag malagyan natin na kahit pa paano security yung ating Wi-Fi or wireless network. Okay? We can uh, manage our or wala yung firewall. Yan. Yung sa ating, lalo na kung laka Windows kayo, no? Windows 10 or Windows 7. So, firewalls, one solution to address wireless uh, access point vulnerability is to place the wireless access point outside your network firewall. So, just type uh, firewall to the search bar on the Windows, hello po, or Windows operating system. At you can allow uh, uh, manage your firewall. You can change settings po. And basta make sure your access point nasa labas lang network firewall para hindi siya nabablock hindi siya na interfere number two we have closed networks some wireless uh, access points support a closed network mode in which the wireless access point does not advertise its SSID SSID yung pangalan po lang ating usually wifi yalo po pagka closed network uh, hindi po laha, hindi po pinapakita yun sa ano no uh, sa mga devices sa public. Kumbaga, pagka nag-scal uh, yung device uh, sa public, hindi po makikita yung ating SSID. Kasi nga, naka-close network. In other words, naka-hide. Yeah, Lado siya, pero naka-hide. Okay? Naka-mask. So, kailangan pang i-type yung pangalan ng ano, ng SSID no ating network para ma-access. Siyempre, kung public ka, or I guess, uh, logically, Di mo alam yung pangalan ng network. Okay? So, di mo siya ma-access. Natalis, alam mo. Okay? Especially yung password. So, yun yung closed networks. And then, aside from closed networks uh, for security, we have SSID spoofing. You can use special software that generates numerous wireless access point packets which broadcast false SSIDs. So, ibig sabihin, uh, SSID is pooping. Uh, marami siyang gagawin na SSID, which is hindi naman totoo alo, lo, uh, pangalan ng ating Wi-Fi collection or wireless uh, network collection. <coughs> Baga, maraming fake. Okay? So, ito. Uh, iba ito gilagawa. SSID is pooping. Number four, uh, media access control or MAC address filtering. Most wireless access points support MAC address restriction. Uh, kumbaga, no, yung admin sa network, siya po yung nag-a-allow ng, ano, ng mga devices sa mga connect sa network. So, magagawa niya po ito by knowing yung MAC address sa device. Okay. Pag nakita niya MAC uh, address itong, ano, hindi dapat i-allow, eh, di, di niya i-allow. Kumbaga, kung nakapasok man, pwede niya i-kick yun out of the network. Okay. By just knowing the media access control ng device sa yun. Okay. Bawat ano kasi, uh, network adapter devices ay merong uh, MAC address na tinatawag. Okay. So, yun natin yung ano, uh, table natin for the security standard or security protocols for a wireless network. Okay. Next, let us have a uh, configuration po. Configuring hardware for connecting to a wireless network. So, connect and configure a wireless access point. So, access point. Configure a wireless network adapter in the client computer. Sinabing client computer, ito yung kukollect sa pilaka server. Yan. So, 
To configure wireless network, you must have a wireless access point. You may antenna, no? That physically connects to your network and a wireless network adapter in your client computers. A wireless access uh, uses radio waves to broad, uh, broadcast its SSID. So, dapat may access point, yun ang pinaka-server ng uh, network, at yung mga computer or devices, eh, dapat merong ano, uh, network adapter, wireless network adapter para masagap yung SSID na gagaling kay access point. Okay? So, si access point yung magbibigay ng Wi-Fi. Tapos, itong mga devices, lata si computers, dapat meron silang wireless network adapter. Okay? O yung Wi-Fi adapter na tinatawag. Next. To configure a wireless access point, ito, you must enter its SSID and configure a valid TCP IP address on your network. Typically, a wireless access point has an administrator page that can be accessed by an internet browser by using its default IP address. In default, usually, that is 10.0.0.0.1. Yung iba naman, 168.128.1.1. APLDT, ang gamit natin ay 192.168.0.0, I think. So, yun, de depende sa, ano, no, uh, sa uh, ISP or Internet Service Provider. Okay? So, yun. Uh, you access the access point okay, by typing uh, the IP address on the browser sa Google Chrome, kaya Internet Edge, uh, Microsoft Edge, kaya Mozilla Firefox. Okay? Para ma-access mo yung kanyang, ano, no, yung tinatag na router interface. Yan. Okay? And then, depending on the manufacturer, different wireless access points have different default IP address. Katulad na sabi ko, no? To start with. So, yung iba kasi 10.0.0.1, katulad ng aking face sa Wi-Fi, yun yung IP address niya. Yung PLDT ko naman is 192.168.1.1. Ayan, halala ko na. At yung iba naman, different address din. I believe it's 168 to start. Okay, so several wireless access points can also be configured from command prompt by using Telnet command line tool. Okay, so let's go to those, to those tools. So configuring client computers, yeah. Uh, connect to a network dialog box, command line, net sh, VLAN, and group policy. So you can use the following methods to configure uh, Windows 7 base, uh, Windows 7 base client, to connect to a wireless network, okay? So, una. Okay, number one, connect to a network dialog box. So, you must open a network dialog box. This dialog box is available for many locations in Windows 7, such as the control panel. So, pwede tayo punta sa control panel, ano? O kaya, dun sa status bar, pwede rin. Okay? Then number two, pwede rin po sa command line kung ayaw mo sa control panel. The, net, uh, the new NetSH VLAN commands in the NetSH.exe tool enable you to configure wireless networks and their settings manually. For more information on how to use NetSH, please refer to this site. Yan, for NetSH po, command prompt, okay, uh, search mo lang sa search bar. Then, type CMD. And then, yun na po. Nasa command form po na. Then, you can type uh, net sh uh, space uh, VLAN. And then, press enter. Okay? So, other details. Ito po ay yung website. Next, aside from uh, the control panel, command line. Number three. Group policy. Yeah. Network administrators in an active directory directory service environment can use group policy to configure and deploy wireless network uh, settings centrally to domain member computers. So, pwede rin tayo dito sa group policy. Ano? Ito naman po, ginagawa sa may server. Ano? For example, dun sa Windows 2008 Server R2. Kaya, uh, Windows 2008 Server. Meron na po Windows 2012 Server R2. Ganun din po. 
So, pwede tayong gumawa ng group policy. And then, uh, pagka nandun na tayo sa network manager, and dun, dun kasi gumagawa ng, ano, ng mga policies. Unang unang natin gagawin is yung Active Directory Services. Ano? Yan. Para magkaroon tayo ng wireless network uh, connection. Babagoy natin yung settings doon. Okay. Next. So, configuring client computers. Next we have, ito na yung network settings natin. So, these are the available network uh, and networks in a computer. Example po. No? Tapos ito yung guest home. So, ito yung sa ano, dialog box. Control panel. Pag open mo ng control panel, network and internet. Hanapin mo to. Pag open ng network and internet, may hanapin po yung network and sharing center. Okay? Yung network and sharing center, kung ayaw mo sa control panel, makikita rin po yun sa may taskbar. Yun na sa right side, sa bottom part ng Windows. Especially Windows 7. Then, manage wireless network. Okay? So, with Windows 7, connecting to a wireless network has never been easier. If the wireless access point, wireless access point, is configured to advertise its uh, service set identifier or SSID, a Windows 7 client can detect the signal and automatically create a wireless network profile and set the configuration to connect to the wireless network. Yeah. Okay, this uh, frame or slide shows the manage wireless network. There. Manage wireless network window. If you choose to add a wireless network manually, there are several settings that you can configure in Windows 7 when creating a wireless network profile. You have to configure these settings to match the wireless access point that you want to connect to. So, yun. Yun lang po yun. Control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, and then manage wireless network. Okay? Okay, next po. Uh, ito yung naman yung ano. Uh, shows the properties of a wireless network profile. Ito yun sa may taskbar. Ano po. At the connection tab or taskbar, you see the general settings and general settings. Ito yun. Uh, and connection settings and connection security settings explain that the wireless network profile name can be different from the SSID so pwede po magkaiba po yung ano no SSID do sa profile name yan yung name is home pero yung SSID to iba eh pwede sila magkaiba po eh, not always the same so right click any network profile then properties mo lang okay kung mag pipili ka lang ng ano no Network profile. Ito yung general settings. Yan, may baksa yan. At ito naman po yung connection settings po natin. Yan, yung tatlong yan. And then, eh, ito yung general settings. So, the following settings are mandatory for every wireless network profile. Yan. Mandatory, uh, kinakailangan, hindi pwedeng skip. SSID, every wireless network has an, a name or SSID. Two, network type. Yan. Access point yung connection niya. So, there are two options. Access point and ad hoc network. So, madalas po access point. Lalo na kung home or office or small business. And then, we have yung connection settings. Okay. For connection settings, the following settings configure how the Windows 7 client connects to a wireless network. Number one, connect automatically when this network is in range. So, connect lang automatic. At yung default. Ito yung kadalasan na setting. Number two, connect to a more featured network if available. Okay? So, yun po. Ah, yan. Featured if available. And three, connect even if the network is not broadcasting its name, SSIT. So, by default, we have ito. Connect automatically when this network is in range. Okay. And then, we have the security tab. So, this frame shows that the security tab to configure security types. So, para naman sa mga security types to. The following settings determine what type of authentication and encryption are used to connect to a wireless network. Ayan. So, security types. Okay. So, ano-ano ba yung mga security types sa yan? 
So, una, number one, no authentication. So, baga, walang username, walang password. So, yun, pwede rin dito yun. So, lang, is, it is uh, uh, not recommended. Ano po, dahil lesser yung security nga, madali ma-access. So, if you select the security type, two options are available for the encryption type, none and web. Uh, ginagamit lang to kadalasan sa mga, ano, no, uh, coffee shops nga, o kaya small business uh, establishment. Kasi nga, para magamit ng lahat yung wifi, ano, kumbaga pre-wifi zone. Pero sa home, sa office, small office lalo na, dapat ano po no hindi tayo no authentication kasi nga open open siya sa public okay number two shared ayan if select this security type only web is available for the encryption type ayan okay ibig sabihin kita yo security type yung shared kasi nga naka-share eh. okay may username pero yung password ayan naka-open hindi siya naka-encrypt Ito, ito yung sinasabi mo, naka-encrypt pa na. Yung mga dots. Yan. Pero sa shared, kita to. Yan. Kita yan, basa yan. Okay? Number three, WPA or personal and enterprise. Both personal and enterprise. In the personal mode, you provide the same network security key to each user. So, pare-pare sa username at password. In the enterprise mode, syempre magkakaiba username at password. An authentication server distributes individual key to the user. If you select the security type, two options are available for the encryption, uh, encryption type, TKIP and AES. Yeah. So again, personal, uh, isa lang password at username. Enterprise, uh, kumbaga si server ang bibigay sa'yo ng username at password. Next, number four, WPA2, personal enterprise. Similar to WPA, it also has a personal and enterprise mode. As well as two options for the encryption type, TKIP and AES. So, halos parehas lang kay WPA. Pero mas uh, secured sa WPA2. At normally, sa mga merong DSL or fiber connection, uh, WPA2 po yung gamit. And then we have number 5, 802.1x. If you select the security type, only web is available for the encryption type. The next frame shows example of available selections for the security type and the corresponding encryption type. Ayan. So, uh, we have security type and encryption. And this uh, frame shows example of available selections for security type and corresponding encryption type. Ayan. So, yung mga pinagbababanggit ko kanina. So, siguro, uh, hanggang dito na muna itong video na ito. No? Putulin ko muna. Pagpatuloy ko lang to sa part 2. Okay? So, it's time na po. So, that's all for now. And see you on the next video. Okay?